the iconic journalist Walter Cronkite said, whatever the cost of our libraries, the price is cheap compared to that of an ignorant nation. Words like these hold deep meaning for us on the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. Hello everyone, and welcome to the sixth season of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. I'm your host, Mohan Kapoor, and it's my sheer pride to introduce to you some of the finest geniuses that we have here in the UAE. Let's welcome today's young minds, all set to battle it out for the coveted Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. For our second quarterfinals this evening, we have our three teams. Come, let's meet them. Team A is being represented by Dubai Scholar Private School, Dubai. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Farhan Wahid and I'm in Dubai Scholars. My name is Riban Kne and I'm studying the Grade 8 of Dubai Scholars Private School. Welcome to the show. All the very best, Riban. I have been told that you were inspired to take up quizzing because of your brother? Uh, yes, uh, he is well a one-of-a-kind person. He is good at almost everything and so I also take it as a challenge to meet up to the expectations of him because he expects me to be as good as him. Well, so. we owe our thanks to your brother. Welcome aboard and all the very best. Team B, Jumeirah College, Dubai. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Scott Shepard and I'm from grade 9. Welcome. I'm Abani Dovan. I'm studying in year 9 as well. You say you are mentally strong but you speak before thinking. Is that true? Yes, it is. Scott, what's your reaction to that? I hope you're okay with her speaking her mind without thinking in the quiz. Well, I'm sure that if she checks with me and I'll check with her, it'll all be fine. Wonderful. How's your feeling today, being on the show? I'm really excited to be here. I tried out last year, but unfortunately I didn't make it. But this time, I'm really happy that I'm here. And we wish you all the very best, as we wish you too, Scott. Thank, Thank you. you. Team C, our own English high school, Alain. Welcome. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Zamir Mohamed and I study in Grade 7 of our own English high school, Alain. My name is Mohamed Wasil and I study in Grade 10 of our own English high school, Alain. Wonderful. Mohamed, you want to be a scientist and your colleague over there wants to be a cardiologist. Really? That's so interesting and I wish you all the best for that. What are your strategies for today? Um, we want to work as a team and then do as much as we can, like our best. That's wonderful. Wish you two all the very best. This is the second quarter final. Winner today will take a place in the semi-finals. So, thinking hats on. In the October of 1947, Captain Charles Chuck Yeager of the US Air Force became the first man to break the speed of sound. The three teams before us tonight will need to be just as supersonic at our first round, which is Rapid Fire, brought to you by Darba Herbal Toothpaste. Six direct questions per team. In case you are not sure of the answer, do say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer. There'll be no negative points. 45 seconds to answer all the questions. Team A, we begin with you. Dubai Scholar Private School. Dubai, are you ready for your rapid fire? Yes. Six questions, 45 seconds. Your time starts now. Question one. In 2015, Zinedine Zidane became the manager of which European football team? Uh, uh, pass. Question two. Which is the biggest desert in Asia? Gobi Desert. Correct. Question three. Which venue in Dubai is home to the longest grandstand in the world? Uh, pass. pass. Question four. Of which primary color is teal a shade? Blue. Blue is incorrect. Question five. In the fairy tale Cinderella, which set of items created by her fairy godmother remained the same after the clock struck midnight? The glass shoe. The glass, I'll give it to you, is the glass slippers. And question six. About 75% of the sun is made up of which atmospheric gas? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. <laughs> and your time is up. Unfortunately, I cannot revisit the questions that you said pass. Well done. Team B, Jumeirah College, Dubai. Are you ready for your six questions of rapid fire? Yes. yes. Well, you have 45 seconds and your time for that starts now. Question one. Which former French midfielder and European football administrator was banned by FIFA in 2015? Seb Blatter. That's incorrect. Question two. Which is the only independent country of the world beginning with the letter Q? Pass. Pass, yeah. Question 3. Khalifa Industrial Zone Abu Dhabi has an area larger than the entire island of Greenland or Singapore? Singapore. Correct. Question 4. Of which primary colour is desire a shade? Blue. Incorrect. Question 5. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, 
Who was the ruler of Wonderland? Queen of Hearts. Absolutely right. Question six. Johann Gale was the first man to observe which planet? Pass. Your time is up. Team C, our own English high school, Elaine. Are we ready? Yes. yes. All the very best. Your six questions, 45 seconds. That time starts now. Question one. Before he was sacked in 2015, who was the manager of the Liverpool Football Club from 2012? Brendan Rogers. Absolutely right. Question two. What language do most locals speak in Bogota? Pass. Question three. What is the largest positive integer? that can be written with two different digits using each digit only once. Plus. Question four, of which primary color is periwinkle a shade? Pink. Pink is incorrect. Question five, which Shakespearean character shares his name with a word used for a cluster of houses in a village? Plus. Plus. Question six, the highly reflective clouds of Venus are made up of which acid? Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is correct and your time is up. I cannot revisit the questions you have said past two. Well done. That was a good first round, I must say. Don't worry, there are many more rounds. Don't lose hope. You are free to make your choices, but you are not free of the consequences of your choices. Now, that's exactly the crux of our next round's categories, brought to you by Skyline University College. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. 10 points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for 10 points. 10 seconds to answer a direct question posed at you. Five seconds to answer the question that has been passed to you. To begin the round two of categories, the lowest scoring team as of now is Jumeirah College, Dubai. We will begin this round with you. The six categories in front of you are food, history, countries, human anatomy, music, and cricket. What would your choice be? Country. And the question for you, besides Canada, which is the other majority French-speaking independent republic in the Americas? Time's up. Passing it on to our own English high school, Elaine, for 10 points. Would you like to hazard a guess? Guatemala. Guatemala is incorrect. Team A. Quebec. Quebec is also incorrect. The correct answer is Haiti. Moving on, Team C. Food, history, human anatomy, music, and cricket. Cricket. And the question for you. Name the first player to play one-day internationals for both Australia and New Zealand. Uh, Luke Ronchi. Luke Ronchi is correct. Well done, Team C. Well done. Team A, you're left with four categories to choose from, which are food, history, human anatomy, music. What do you choose? Human anatomy. And the question for you is, which is the only bone in the human body unattached to any other bone? Stira. That's incorrect. Jumeirah College, Dubai. Team B. The kneecap. No, that's incorrect. Our own English high school, Alain. Team C. The throat bone. Would you like to give me the name? Well, you're there in the region. It is in the throat, but it's called the hyoid. H-Y-O-I-D. Well done, well tried, but that's what I was looking for, okay? Well, that brings us to the end of our second round for the quarterfinals of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. And the scores at this point are as follows. We have Team B, Jumeirah College, Dubai, with... 10 points. <laughs> Dubai Scholar Private School Dubai with 15 points. And Team C, our own English high school, Elaine, with 20 points. Well, that brings us to the end of our second round. And what a show by our young participants so far. Stay tuned as we have three more exhilarating rounds to tackle at this Max Star Quiz Challenge for 2016, powered by Skyline University College. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the sixth season of the Max Star Quiz Challenge, powered by Skyline University College, UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, where we test these fabulous participants on not just their aptitude, but their endurance and speed too. Do you know what? 
Albert Einstein's brain was similar in size to other humans, except in the area that is responsible for math and spatial perception. In that region, his brain was 35% wider than average. <laughs> now we know what that great man was made up of. And with that piece of trivia, let's move on to our next round, Starcade, that's brought to you by Max. Questions will carry values from 20 to 5 points. One assigned question per team. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, place, personality, event, monument or animal. The first clue is the most difficult, for which the team will get 20 points if they answer correctly. But if the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue. If they answer at this stage, they get 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they do get a third clue, which will be a visual clue. But if they get it right at this stage, they get five points. Questions do not pass in this round. At the point the team answers, I shall award them the requisite points. Fair? Yes. yes. Clear? Yes. yes. So we shall begin. Dubai Scholar Private School Dubai, here's your max question for max points 20. Clue one. On his 27th birthday, succeeded Isaac Barrow as Location Professor of Mathematics. Your time is up. Your clue two for 10 points. After his election to the Royal Society in 1671, he published his first paper in the Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. Well done, Riban. Well done. <laughs> Team B, Jumeirah College, Dubai. Your max question for the max points of 20. This geographical structure lends its name to a luxury brand of pens. Sorry. That's time, your clue number two for 10 points. This mountain lies in the range called the Gratian Alps between the region of Aosta Valley, Italy and Oud Savar, France. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is right. <laughs> Team C, our own English high school, Elaine, your max question for max points 20. Clue number one. Metaphorically, it has come to mean any trick that causes a target to invite a foe into a securely protected bastion or place. Your time's up for the max question, carrying max points of 20. Clue number two for 10 points. According to Quintus Smyrnaeus, Odysseus thought of building a great wooden animal figure. Trojan horse. Trojan horse. Absolutely right. Well done there. Ten points there too. Looks like everyone missed out on the max question with max points of 20, but they managed to clinch it at the second clue of 10 points. Well done, all three. <laughs> now it's time for another mind-grilling round. The big one. This is... Audio-visual round. This round you will either be shown a picture or you will hear an audio clip followed by a question for the same. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not get the answer or gets it wrong. Ten points for a correct answer. There will be no negative marks here, but five points for a passed on question. Ten seconds to answer a direct question, five seconds to answer a passed on question. So this is the audio-visual round. We're going to begin again with Dubai Scholar Private School, Dubai. For you young men, I have a visual clue. Have a look and then I will ask you the question. Identify this species of seal. Uh, elephant seal? Absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Jumeirah College, Dubai. For you too, I have a visual clue. Have a look and then listen to the question. Identify this musician. Pitbull. Absolutely right. Ivan there. Team C, our own English high school, Elaine. Are we ready? Yes. Good, because for you, I have an audio clip. 
carefully listen to it and then hear my question. Can we have the audio clip, please? Identify the musical instrument from this clip. Is it a violin? Violin? Violin is incorrect. Moving on to Dubai Scholar Private School as a pass question to you. Piano? It's incorrect. Jumeirah College, Dubai. Cello. Cello is right. Ibani once again coming to the fore and doing it for the team. Well done. Well done. Well done. So the scores as of now are as follows. Our own English high school, Elaine, my team C, stands at 30 points. And with a score of 35, we have not won, but two teams. That's Dubai Scholar Private School, Dubai, and Jumeirah College, Dubai. Well done. You all are tied at 35. One, you have to get ahead of each other. But two, you've got our own English high school, Elaine, close on your heels. All the very best to all of you. Knowledge is of little value if not put into practice. More than the brains, it's your grit and passion which keeps you going. And with that thought, let's take a quick break. Please do not go anywhere as we inch closer to finding who's going to be tonight's winning team. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. This is the final round for tonight's episode, which will decide which team succeeds to cross all the hurdles and move on to the next level to win the Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy, a memento of prestige, honor, and brilliance. Let's get into our final round. At the buzzer, brought to you by Al Rawabi. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while I am reading the question. Please answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer. Minus five points for an incorrect answer, so be careful. In case you do not answer after hitting the buzzer, that too shall get you minus five points. Question one. How many pawns are there on a chessboard at the start of a game of chess? Yes, team B. Eight. Eight. That's incorrect. Question two. U.S. Admiral Robert Peary was the first man to reach the South Pole. True or false? false? Team C. False is absolutely right. Well done. Question three. Name the larger of the two bones in the lower leg. And time's up. Question four. What are brick cap, web cap, cordyceps, scale cap and coin cap? And time's up. Question five. The highest point in which long and narrow South American country is the Ojas del Salado? Yes. Argentina? Argentina is incorrect. Question six. What is former U.S. Foreign Secretary Hillary Clinton's middle name? Rodham. Rodham is absolutely right. Well done, Scott. Wow. Well, this is it. For now, we have a very, very close call over here. But we do have a winner. Scores at the end. Second runners up. We have a tie with Team A, Dubai Scholar Private School, Dubai. Their previous round's total of 35 stays at 35. But you have tied in with Team C, our own English high school, who scored 35-2. Well done. Scores are not high, but it was a keenly contested match here. Our winners for today, Jumeirah College Dubai, 40 points. It's a close victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. Well done, Scott. Well done, Ivan. Wow, what a tense fight it has been. Isn't it awesome? Well, with this, we come to the end of our second quarterfinals of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. Congratulations, not just to the winning team, but to each and every one of you who played with flair and utmost sincerity. Let's hear it for each of you. As Louis Armour says, victory is never won in miles, but in inches. Win a little now, hold your ground, and later, win a little more. 
This is all for tonight from me, Mohan Kapoor. See you here, same time, same place, next week. Only on UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Until then, hey, stay smart. Thank <laughs> you.